Welcome our TikTokers. Welcome, welcome, welcome TikTokers. Lovely to have you with us and uh, so glad you could make it. There we go. Scotty McClure popping up just to say hi to every single one of you. Here we go. And wonderful Dinky Doo back up and running. We are indeed. Who have I got here? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Archie, you did indeed. Archie from the borders. From Jedbra, yes. Jedbra and the borders. I was thinking if there's anything else uh, I could talk to you about with Jedbra, and I, I remember something. Yes. So, you know, obviously, Robert the Bruce, how he had a cane and Aaron. Yes. He went in. Yes. Well, there's an old rumour that there's a bridge on the, on the outskirts of just out of the A68 that. Uh, up there, Robert the Bruce actually had another cave. It's very hard. It's, it may not be true, but I find he, 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 he that had a what? Had a kid? Had a cave. Oh, a cave! I thought you. I thought. I thought he'd married one of the locals. I've, I've, I've no idea if it's true or not. He had a cave. Well, it, listen. It may well be Bruce was a very prolific character. He absolutely now, was, and he was inspired by a. Spider with the web in the cave, yes. Aaron cave. And you'll have seen you'll have seen my video of that this week. Oh yes. I came out in the morning and a spider, the genius that it is, had uh, actually done that. Oh really? You know, and I and I thought that was uh, that was absolutely incredible. It just woven this wonderful web. And I thought, I have to get this, at the expense of being a few minutes late, I have to get this up on TikTok. Yes. You know, absolutely amazing. Now, Robert the Bruce, I was just going to tell you, uh, Melrose was one of his stamping grounds, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yes. And, um, but his heart went his to... His heart is buried at the Abbey. At Melrose. Yes. And then the rest of them went to... Um, Dunfermline or our broth. Okay, I'd, I'd never heard that part, but okay. I think, yes, where the rest of But anyway, his heart. Now, also, I'm sure there was a box. This is, I mean, I'm just plucking stuff out the air here. I'm sure there was a box at Mount Stuart House oh, okay. that had held Bruce's heart. Oh, wow. Yes. I seem I to remember... Yeah, I seem to remember something like that. So there's another bit for you. And Tarbert in Argyle, not Tarbet and not Tarbert Harris, but Tarbert in and not Tarbert in Ireland. Um, Tarbert in Argyle at the top of the isthmus between West and East Loch Tarbert. Mm -hmm. And Bruce was on the run there. In Tarbert, you've got Tarbert Castle. Okay. And you've got Bruce Hill. So he was oh, yeah. very, very prolific around Argyle and mid-Argyle. And he was on the run and he nearly starved to death. And oh, wow. a, a lady goat came along and oh, let wow. him suckle her milk. That allowed him to remain alive. Oh, wow. And um, what he did after that, he decreed when he became king, that all goats should have right of free passage in Scotland. <laughs> so you'll see wild goats wandering about in Scotland. Wow. Oh, that's excellent. I, I never knew that. There's that's a wee bit of chat for you. And, uh, of course, the other great man from the borders, from where well, there's been so many, Walter Scott, of course, and oh, yourself. Oh, oh, yeah. um, and uh, the other great thing was... Um, what was I going to tell you about from the borders? I was going to tell you an amazing story from the borders there. Oh, yes. Yes, from Hoyk. Oh, right, okay. Yes, Bill McLaren, the rugby commentator. Oh, the book, yes, Bill McLaren. What a lovely man. And I have I have one regret. I have very, very few regrets in my broadcasting career, but I have one regret. I came off air one day in Scott FM, and here was this gentleman sitting dressed in the finest borders knitwear and the oh. finest leather shoes and I Bill said McLaren. to my producer that's Bill McLaren she went Bill yes of <laughs> course I and we never chat with him we'd love to chat to you and then she she added affectionately 
She said, but if you were rushing for your lunch, it might be quite a long chat because Bill does like to chat. He did, he did. And I was about to, I thought, I'll nip for my lunch and grab him when I come back. I was going to go for a, for a roll, you know. Yeah. So I'm off out the door, down to the baker's, back with a roll. I said, Does Bill, where's Bill? And they said, oh, he had to go, Scott, he's away. Oh. And I never got to talk to the great men. There's a statue of Bill in Hoyk at uh, Wilton. Uh, there, there's a statue of him there, along with Steve Hisbop, the biker that died in a helicopter crash. Yes. It's quite a good, quite a good um, statue enough. It's in a nice place too. Well, Bill always said that a day out of Hoyt was a day wasted. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Listen, lovely to talk to you, Archie. I'm going oh, to move on. And uh, we will catch up soon. Definitely. Thank you, dude. Thank you, do All the very best. You were a top man. There we are. Archie Ooh. from the Scottish borders, from Jedburgh, which is a stunning, stunning wee tune with, uh, with a beautiful abbey that was ruined. I think we should have it rebuilt now. Lots of people on TikTok going daft here, wondering what's going on here. Dinky Doodle, thanks Keverich. He never responds to the same comment. Keverich, I do. I'm just very busy. There we are. Who else have we got? Fantastic. Hello, Sir McClue. Big shout out from Drum Chapel. Thank you, Scott. Back to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, it's Wonky. Wonky, how lovely to hear from you. Can you believe oh. we've been back up for 42 minutes? Oh, and exactly, yes. I have been meaning to call in, but I've seen the lines weren't working. Uh, Unknown gave me the hat tip, the lines were down, so I waited till they were fixed, and I jumped straight on. Just, just straight on, working. and everything should be working fine now, won't it? Oh, it, it's working perfectly now. I've got. Have you checked out question. all the feeds? All the feeds. Uh, I've only checked out YouTube and. Um, no, it was only YouTube. I was going to do Twitch, but realised I already had YouTube open. So two seconds, <laughs> two seconds. Uh, your gums have to come out. I've never heard that one, Scotty. Um, thoughts and prayers to our brothers and sisters in Kabul. Absolutely. Uh, radio show, entertain and education is your forty, and always has been. Start at ten o'clock sharp. Scotty McClure, the voice of the nation. Hey, Scotty, how's your business? How are your people? There are bits of his heart placed at St. Serf's in Levengrove Park in Dumbarton, Scotty. Mark my words. That is brilliant to hear. I thank you. Now, sorry about that, Wonky, but we did have to have a wee catch up because we're doing a lot of things here. No, that's quite all right. Um, right, so I have a request and a question. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so my question is, lots of commenters on TikTok, I'm sure, will get in on this, and YouTube, and Twitch, and Facebook, hopefully. So, we've got a full English breakfast, yes? Yes. Now, how is it full, and why would it be called full, when nobody I know eats the black pudding? Well, everybody I know eats the black pudding, and I've eaten the black okay. pudding myself on many an occasion. Are you, are you sure, Scotty? And there's not a group of uh, of you all pretending to like black pudding just so it stays on, on the... Um, yeah, but hold on, menu. hold on, hold on. Is a full English breakfast, yeah. does it contain black pudding? Well, well... Most I think do. that's maybe more a Scottish thing. Ah, no, because when I go to a certain um, cheap, greasy spoon right. uh, restaurant, um, in England anyway, um, that's what it comes with, you see. So uh -huh. I thought I'd ask you. So it makes me think, well, for the sake of this topic then, because you're Scottish, we'll call it a full breakfast. But um, Well, there's a full yeah. Scottish breakfast, you see, and ah, that can I'm include about, haggis. I'm on about the... English well, world. there's a full Geordie breakfast in Newcastle, and that includes haggis, I think. Okay, no, I've not tried the haggis one, so I can't <laughs> say anything on that front. But, but black pudding, yes. So does it deserve to be uh, classed on the full 
breakfast when it, when nobody eats it? Can't we just have one less and put something else in its place? Because I don't know anyone who eats it and nobody likes it. Who well, I don't know how you can't not like black pudding. What about white pudding? Oh, no, I'm not going to try that if I don't like black pudding, am I? Ah, well, well, no, white pudding's oatmeal, you see. Black pudding's blood pudding. No, no, no. I, uh, no, I'm staying out of it. Now you get into that, and, and I'll tell you another thing you could try, Wonky, is fruit pudding. Uh, fruit pudding? Yeah. Yes. Although uh, I'm, not, I'm not mad on fruit pudding for two reasons. One, it goes a bit mushy in the pan, and the oh, other look is... At TikTok, Scotty. Everyone's, everyone's saying now that black pudding is... Uh, nobody eats it. Nobody likes it. Everyone's in agreement with me. That's not true. Oh, uh, check TikTok. I'll check, wait till we see. <coughs> Who have we got here? Yes, I'm just, the black pudding is meaningless. Black pudding is bra, says Mark. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for 20 beautiful shamrocks from Darren. Uh, what have we got here? I've eaten the black pudding in the vain hope it would propel me towards a Scottish noble title. That's coming from the United States, from Aggie. He doesn't like black pudding doing the swanee he goes. There you go. So you could head off down the swanee. <laughs> Get no, this no. guy off. This was his subject, and he knows so little. Well, if you, hey, if you want to get me off, you call in and challenge Scotty and uh, try and get him to get me off. But we, we follow each other on Twitter. We're good friends, me and Scotty, so I don't think you'll be getting me down my swanee anytime soon. They're, they're all doing the nut. You can't beat a bit of black pudding. You need black pudding. It's a must no, in Scotland. No, you don't. No, you yes. don't. Everybody no, needs no, the no. black pudding. No. Every, every, I mean, lots of people on YouTube are enjoying it. They're saying yes, they, they think they need it, but lots of TikTok are saying otherwise. Right, I'm going to read the comments and I'll catch up with you soon, Wonky. Okay, you do it. But before you go, Dinky do. My, my question yes, go, on. go on is can we have a bit of a squeeze box in case Steve is listening? Well, we've just had it. No, but a bit more. A bit more squeeze box? Yes. Some please. more? Mr. Bumble. And, and a general sup. A general sup. I think we'll have a general sup of uh, from the boss. Okay. There we go. I'm just telling the TikTokers what's going on here. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Some more. Ta -la -la. No. <laughs> right, he's gone. My goodness me, what are we going to do? Black pudding is the bullseye on the breakfast board, says Mark Mawars. Black pudding every time, says Mark. There we are. Make them try a McClooty dumpling. I see what you just did there. Very clever. McClooty dumpling. Think you do. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us and a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us here on TikTok, this is the big one. We are multi-streaming. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitch. We're on Facebook Live. Uh, what is black pudding, folks, says Sabotage. Are you from the United States of America, Sabotage? Because uh, you might not have heard of it. How's the time doing? Oh, my goodness. We've got 10 minutes and then we have to go to bed, <laughs> apparently. Uh, wonderful. What have we got here? Uh, yes, you can. Thank you very much. Now, we've got lots of good stuff here. I never knew about bits of Bruce's heart being in Dumbarton. And I have walked that park many a time, very close to the old Kuehl School in Dumbarton. I don't know if we've got any Kuehl School FPs with us. So to the Waverley today, past the lovely site, Albert Road and Ashton, and headed to the Gantips, John Young. You're some man, I'll tell you. The Waverley, she's beautiful. I'm hearing great things, and she's looking great. Uh, somebody said they might be... Um, Extending the season, is that right? Have I got that correct? Here's Tom in Barnsley. Hey, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Tom, and a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, and you've seen us for the first time, then you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag float I, all uppercase, F-L-O-T-I, the first lord of the internet. And we are building up an international phone-in live online. All right, so be part of something very big. 
That's right, absolutely evening, Scotty. Best black pudding is stone away black pudding. Yes, McPhee from the baker's. Uh, from the butcher in uh, the baker, the butcher in Stornoway. Stornoway. Ah, yes, indeed. Absolutely. For the yo socks. Off for my midnight curry. See you soon, everybody. Scott Fraser. Dinky do. All the very best to you. Thanks for joining us live on TikTok. Welcome, welcome, I say. Now, who else have we got here? Hey, hey. Everybody fancy a quick night night phone call? And uh, we'll we'll uh, leave it at that. Knight of the McClure Table at your service. A Selkirk Bannock is hard to beat. Ah, John Young. We've just had a true borderer on there from Jedburgh. The Selkirk Bannock. The home of the Selkirk Bannock. Uh, Scotty, what's your perfect breakfast? I think probably a plate of porridge with honey and fresh cream. Darren, thank you for your beautiful gifts there. How amazing. Pandas. Darren is sending 36 pandas. 40, 50 pandas. Oh, my goodness. Scotty, how have you been? It's a while. So lovely to see you, my favorite man of TikTok. Did you do? Clickstar, welcome, welcome. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch right now as well. There we go. Thank you for 92 pandas, Darren. Who would be your ideal guest once you get the TV gig? You. Uh, are we having a ruby then, Scotty? You should do Scotty Makes Breakfast Stream. I might do. The only reason I'm not huge on television at the moment is because I don't cook. If I had a cookery program, that would be it. Scotty McClue. Scotty McClue's Saturday. There we are. Fantastic. All the trolls are scared to fun in. Hopefully, Tytok. Fantastic. Lovely to have everybody with us. Thanks for joining us, folks. Um, come and give us a phone call, of course. You'll see the number along the bottom of the screen for our TikTokers. There it's there. The Scotty McClue YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. And please send us lots and lots of likes. Can everybody watching on TikTok follow me, please, and send the likes? There we are. Ha, ah, Hannah, excellent. Yes, indeed. Who knows? I would be very privileged because that was marvellous seeing you all. Fantastic. Do come and join us, folks. Have we got that? That's Scotty McClure, YouTube phone in. Call Scotty now. 01416289795. Prayers for Afghanistan, you know, and for the very, very deeply evil people that did the bombing. Deeply, deeply evil people. Good to see you on the old Twitch, Scotty. I hope you're well in the wee dug. Well, Angel, in actual fact, since you and I last spoke, the wee dug passed away. But please don't panic. He was 14 and a half. Just coming up, 14 and a half. What a great wee guy. And behind me, you should maybe, you'll maybe be able to see Lord Reith. Let me see if I can get you having a look. There's Lord Reith behind me, guys. Can we see Lord Reith there? How amazing is that? That's him. Yes, what a beautiful dog. There we are. So thank you for that, Angel. So please, as I say, don't think anything of saying, because you want to know. I didn't publicize. I told every day when Lord Reith died uh, 15 years ago. Uh, fantastic. Hello there, Scotty McClure. Kevin Dodds, how lovely to have you with us. And a very big dinky do to you. Thank you. The only thing is, if we see Lord Reith, you see mess, uh, less of me, which are mess of Lee, which is probably quite a good thing for you, I would think. There we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet. Now, there we are. Last time I'm tuning in, if you don't start talking sense. Rasboo, we've always talked sense. Don't ever not tune in to Scotty McClure. Brilliant. There we are. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely. And uh, hi, Scotty. Hello, the real Shane. Good to have you with us. Yes, he's just thrown his toys out the pram, that guy. All of these people. Yes, welcome, welcome, I say. So good to have you. Uh, Dinky-doo, dinky-doo, everybody. Uh, fantastic. So my ideal guest... Uh, who would I have on first? I had David Heyman on, on the radio. He's outstanding. I would very much like to chat to David on the telly. 
There we are. Do you like beans? Uh, sad hub. I have had beans in my day. I'm not mad. I like the green beans. I think that's a very good idea. Uh, if you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. P.S. Dodzy on TikTok. Ah, Dodzy, yes, we love you on TikTok. I've got the TikTokers here, and we are just chatting away. Uh, Raza Boombastic says, so let's talk about Kabul. Well, as you know, Raza Boombastic, Scotty McClue can discuss anything, but I don't want to uh, make the people sad before they go to their bed. And we've only got another couple of minutes. Have you ever been to Sandy Hills in the Stewart Tree? I was there yesterday. John Young, I know Sandy Hills in the Stewart Tree very, very well indeed from my border television days. Yes, indeed. Do you know Pow Foot at all? There we go. Nearer to Annan. Some interesting stories there, I can tell you. Right, I think we're going to push off, guys. We'll leave it there for tonight. So sorry about the early technical problem at 9 o'clock, but we've sorted that. The number isn't working. Try it again, the boss. Yes, indeed, and we'll see if the number's working. Give it another shot. The number should definitely be working. Are you dialing the right one? It's 0141 628 9795. Scott, he asked you this question on YouTube last night, but you've not seen it. Are you a ham radio operator? No, I don't, Spirit, but I've always admired the early hams talking to Australia and stuff like that. Fantastic. But no, it's not what I've done. But I did have a small crystal set that you flung the wire out the window and all that kind of stuff. The line is working fine. You are talking nonsense. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? There you are, working fine. There we are, maybe not able to speak when you get through, but working fine. I am Scotty, sorry, it's me. Oh, it is, who's that? It's Lee from Barnsley. Lee from Barnsley, hey, hey up, lad. Hey, up, mate, how you doing? How is they? I'm all right, mate, how are you? Hey, oh, I'm all right, mate, hey, hey, hey. it's <laughs> grand to hear the... Huh? God. Last time I spoke to you, what, over 20 years ago in a yeah. popular radio station in Sheffield. Yeah, but Lee, what you've done, which is a lovely, lovely thing, you've stuck with me all the way. Well, I've, I've, followed, you on, I've followed you on YouTube for years, you know, since, since you first came on. One of my friends told me that, that you were on, and I've stuck with you through thick and thin, you know. So you have, you have done just, it. It's just nice, it's just nice to see that, that you're still, you know, you're still going and you're still... You're still there on any, any kind of social media communication. Well, you uh, see, Lee, the whole thing is we haven't even scratched the surface yet. And, the, you know, when I was on the radio, even when I was on Hallam FM, the technology wasn't quite there internet-wise. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it, 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 it's early stages then, weren't it? You know, yeah. It weren't, as, it weren't as prevalent as... You know, as it is now. And even then, it um, was slow. It was dial-ins. It, it used up the bandwidth very, very quickly. You were trying to stuff all the information down a pipe. Because, you see, the internet, believe it or not, is actually old-fashioned technology compared with radio. Well, I, I, I'm not, you know, I don't know enough about that to comment, really. But, no, but uh, you see, just I, to I put do, it... I do, remember, I do remember the dial-up, though. That was yes, shocking. When it went bloop, bloop, you know? bloop, 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 <laughs> bloop, bloop. You know, as, as soon as someone actually picked the phone line up at the other end to ring someone, that's it, it just cut out. Well, when I was in Century was Radio, a friend of mine who knew the internet said, Scotty, I'm going to put a page up tonight and mention the page on the station, and I'll tell you what happens. And then he said the reaction was absolutely breathtaking. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, through your, 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 you know, your radio broadcasting years, you've been on that many radio stations up and down the UK, not just in Scotland, but in England. You know, you've been on that many radio stations, and you know, you always get. I mean, you get, you know, you, know, you get people that you know don't agree with you, and but. But that's what I like about you. you. You might be controversial, but you you say it how it is. You know, you're not bothered about what people think. No, you say it how it is. no, that's, we say it how it is. And it is. and all this woke stuff, while it's a bit of a pain in the backside, uh, yeah. you know, we'll find a way round that. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll see. I mean, that will eventually die off because well, it's a, you it's know, you know it's, it's driven politically. 
I'm hoping because the, you know this woke thing, as you you know as you describe it, it's 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 affecting normal conversation. It's affecting people having yeah. uh, nice conversations because you know you, you can't have a proper conversation with you know with this woke society. And I'm hoping, like you said, that it does kind of die off soon because it's yeah. it's, it's ruining conversation. I mean, for some people, you you don't say things. It's going to the stage where. You know, you're worried about saying this, you're worried about saying that because of what people think. But that's where I respect you because you don't care what people think. You'll say how it is and you say what you feel. Absolutely. You, know, you don't hold back and, let, you know, that, that, that's what I respect about you. Absolutely. And I always remember when I came to Yorkshire, uh, you know, I, I said, uh, you said, all the Barnsley folk are listening. I said, are they upset? They went, no, not upset. They're loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, do you remember what you used to say? I mean, I'll not say it on air because I'm not sure I can, but uh, what you used to say about Barnsley women, those... Yeah, drops. yeah, the drop bottoms. <laughs> and they loved all that. Oh, it, it's just fantastic. It's, it's pure entertainment. And I know, you know, when you were... A, I'm not sure I could say radio station, but you've said it so well. So when you were on LMFM... You LMFM, know, yeah, people, you can. People, well, yeah, pe people tuned in because they liked you. And you could be controversial at times, and that's... It's entertainment. That's why I think people did tune in. And you tell people exactly what you thought about them, which not many people do in this society these days. And I think, you know, that's something that I respect. No, you see, not doing that is false. I mean, when somebody was talking rubbish in Yorkshire, we used to tell them and we told them straight. Well, exactly. I mean, it's not just Yorkshire, though, is it? I mean, it's up and down country. Well, it's up and down from, country, you know, but, it, but I think... John O'Groats and... Absolutely. You know, Belfast, Dublin. But there was something funny to me and to everyone about a Yorkshireman coming on and saying, right, I'll tell thee exactly how it is. And you listen to me, Scotchman, and I'll I'll teach you a thing or two. So then they'd come on with all this and say, right, I'll tell thee, I've never had so much nonsense in all my life. And they were going, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Yes, yeah. I mean, I remember I, I you know, um, I think it was 98, 99. Um, I, I, I got on phone to you when you were on LMFM and I used to work at a certain restaurant chain and they were, they were all on night shift and they were listening. And I think at the time, um, we had, a, I wouldn't say about, we, we had a little kind of argument, you know, we, we, we were talking and we were... Hey, hang stuff. on two seconds. I, hang on two seconds. Like, I'll have to say goodnight to me TikTokers. It's the phone right, in, okay. Glenn. Yes, there's another Sheffield lad on. TikTokers, thank you very much for watching tonight. Stay fabulous and we'll catch up soon. Dinky-doo. So there we go. Right, I'm just there saying goodnight go. to me TikTokers.